Um, obviously, we've had a couple of games now, particularly the one against France, obviously against tier one opposition. I just wonder, from the outside looking in, what you would identify, and is that sort of the same now, the things that you need to work on, or have they changed now you've actually watched the team and sort of been involved in it? Well, uh, from uh, the, s the staff and the stats that has been from the FA against opponent, tier one opponent, says that possession-wise in their half, we were better than uh, percentage than, yeah. So it, I feel like we are develop our style. And then, of course, there will always be danger when you attack more, then uh, we need to be a better defensive, defending tr transition. So that's the flip side of being a great attacking team that we we has to do. We has to look at the defending transition as well and how we look as a team. Um, but I, I feel comfortable, comfortable that we are moving in the right direction. Uh, the players seems to have fun out there, uh, even though we always step on the field to win. If you look behind the loss, there are bits and pieces that I feel like is really good and something that we need to, to just clean up. And, uh, and that's well, what the next game will hopefully look like. And you've mentioned the term kind of transitional and that part of the pay quite a lot. There's probably been a, a fair bit of criticism on England's defence, whether it's as individuals or collectively. Do you think it, it's time to sort of take the pressure off them and focus on the, the team as a whole defensively, as you say? Yeah, I, I feel like you defend as a team. And it starts with the two, one or two up top. And it, it goes, and if we look at the France game, when we are in a good shape, they don't create that much. But in the transition where we are too high or don't do the work, uh, uh, run home, then we are in trouble. So I, I will say that the team effort uh, is the thing that we need to work on more so than individually, but collectively, if we can uh, defend together, we will be a very strong team. Thank you. Thank you very much. Could we go next to Sandra Brobby for The Sun, please? Hi, Hega. How are you doing? Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Um, what would you say are the biggest learnings you've taken from both camps um, you've done so far? And, um, and just what are the team's expectations for tomorrow? What are your expectations of them in terms of the performance on the pitch? And you mentioned, you know, things that need cleaning up. I mean, what will that look like to you tomorrow um, when they take on Canada? Like when we see uh, the chances that France create and how clinical they are in finishing the chances, that's the thing that we need to be better at. We had the chances. Uh, we need to uh, get a goal that gets confident. Um, and I hope that that's something we can see against Canada. Also the defensive transition, how we position ourselves in order to continue attack and stop all the defending transition by having a better position when we attack, if that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Great, thank you. And what would you say are the biggest learnings you've taken from both camps, Northern Ireland and, and from this one? And I mean, how much hope does this give you, um, you know, from what you've seen of the England team, um, just going into, for example, your selection for uh, the Olympics? This game against France was a, a good, good uh, learning for us. Uh, like I said, have France clinical <clears throat> when they attack, shots on goal, uh, and and to see the players against the speed, the tier one uh, opposition, how fast, uh, how the speed of the game, and then what we need physically, mentally, to go further into the Olympics, what we need. Great. Thanks, Hega, and good luck for tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could we go next to Ami Ruskai for goal, please? Hi, Hega. 
Um, just to follow on from, you know, you talk about those those uh, issues in transition for the defence. Is there anything you and especially Rianne with her experience are doing in particular to address those? Well, we, <clears throat> now it's only, we had a session yesterday and a live session today. So it's not that much we can do in training. But we did something uh, yesterday that hopefully we will see... Uh, in the game tomorrow and give the players when we play against Canada, these are the space that they're giving us. Uh, these are the danger areas for them that we need to be uh, good defending. So bits and pieces uh, for leading up to Canada, what we want to see and how we <coughs> how we're going to look uh, in that game. And you mentioned Canada have a lot of quick players that will be dangerous on the transition. Is this a really good test to, to see if you, you can sort those issues out and, and kind of highlight what you can do better going forward as well? Absolutely. It's good, good, uh, good to have a second game now to see if we can adjust quicker and how we, how we can do that. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And final questions, please, from Fiona Thomas for The Telegraph. Hi, Hega. Hi. Um, I just wanted to ask, how mindful are you of the fact that um, Bev Priestman is likely to know uh, some of the England players considerably well? Does that make it more difficult to select a side for tomorrow and perhaps even for the players to, to make an impression for that Team GB spot? Uh, I don't think the game, like Bev being here for a few, uh, yeah, she knows all of our player, and but also Rian that is with me, she knows all the Canadian player. So <laughs> that in between those two, they know quite a bit about uh, our squad and Canadian as well. Uh, but for the players, for uh, England players to just go out, have fun, uh, think about what we, what the experience is from France, and hopefully to make that a better performance in the area that we want uh, and need to be better. And just lastly from me, um, is this the kind of be all and end all final chance for the players to stick their hand up for that GB uh, selection or... Will you be keeping an open mind when they when they return to um, their WSL clubs? We we'll still keep uh, an open mind. There will be other players out there. Uh, will have three or four more games in the league to uh, to perform. So we will continue to watch uh, all the games. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fiona. If we could um, bring to a conclusion that media conference with Heger. And um, with you shortly will be Leah Williamson. Thank you very much.